YouTube, we're back. Man, it's been a while. Seems like I'm starting all over again. Uh, I do apologize for being missing in action. Uh, just had a lot going on in my personal life, uh, which I will share with you guys in time. But uh, as of right now, I recently just moved into a new home. And because of that, that has kind of set me back on many videos that I had planned on making and actually new videos that I thought about making as I was moving, uh, doing reviews on products that I bought since the move, putting together new things. Um, well, I could have made so many videos, but during that transition to move and moving, I still had to work. And so because of that, <clears throat> I just had not had time to, to do any of that. And so uh, I just, I just want to say I apologize, but thank you guys for sticking with me. Thank you guys for standing by and just being patient. Um, from this point on, I will be uh, updating and doing more videos as I, as I can. But anyway, to get to the main meat of the matter of what we're doing today, today is the day uh, I decided to go ahead and finally reveal my 2021 Specialized Chisel bike build. Before I go any further, I have to give a very, very special thank you to uh, a good friend of mine named Norm. Um, I talk about Norm on a couple of my videos. I met Norm about two years ago at Dick's Sporting Goods when I first got into the sport. Come to find out, we actually worked for uh, the same company. And uh, as I got to know Norm, really, really cool guy, very knowledgeable, and he has owned his own bike shop in the past, and he's just a bike enthusiast. And he has helped me along the way on so many decisions when it comes to bikes. And so um, I asked him, I said, look, Norm, I'm, I got a project, man. I'm, I'm, I'm putting together a bike. I want to see if you can help me build it. And I will say for the most part, Norm has built this bike. I'm going to give him all credit. But I did help at times when I could. Uh, but more than anything, I've actually learned a lot uh, while he taught me a lot while helping me build the bike. And so if any of you guys are actually thinking about building your bike from a frame, uh, I, I will say this, it is more expensive than buying a bike that's already put together, but you will learn so much about the bike itself, about your components, about how things work, how to intertwine, the inner workings of some of the products, and um, how to install and, uh, and uninstall. And so it, it's taught me a whole lot. Like now I know how to actually, you know, bleed hydraulic brakes. I know how the inner workings of you know, the brake system, the, the dropper post seat works. Um, I know more about the actual, how to change brake pads. Um, I, I've just learned a lot throughout the whole process. And, and so I really want to say thank you, Norm, for helping, with me, helping me with this. And uh, I really, really appreciate you. And so uh, today, this is it. I've done about three or four videos regarding this build in the past, even from last year. I started this process on November 4th is when I decided to build my own bike on November 4th. And so since November, um, November, December, January, February, March. So it's been about five months, about five months. And uh, I predicted I wanted to have this done in six months. And so I, I was very close to getting it on, on my time frame. And so I'm excited about it. Uh, before I actually show the bike, let me say this, the bad news. The bad news, well, for me anyway, I had to sell the stump jumper. And I had to sell the stump jumper because I needed the money for the down payment of the home. Uh, I was able to get, um, well, I lost out a little bit on my upgrades, but I got what I paid for the bike. But I lost a little bit of money on the upgrades that I did to it. But other than that, I, I almost broke even. So um, I did not want to sell that bike, especially with that colorway. It was... To me, the best bike I've ever had, the all-in-one do-it-all bike, full suspension. But, um, you know, I had to put the priorities first. The house was more important than keeping the bike. Plus, I was already building my new bike, so I knew I was at least going to have, you know, an extra bike. And eventually, when, you know, down the line, if I can afford to get another stump jumper, I will uh, when that time comes. So, we'll, we'll, we'll see how it works out and just kind of go from there. But for now, I'm happy with, with what I have now. And so... Without further ado, I was going to do like a big, you know, unveiling with the sheet over the bike and all of that. But I was like, man, I I've been missing a little too long already. So let me just go ahead and show you what I got. And without further ado, here we go.
is it guys this is the 2021 specialized chisel i have went over every single component on this bike that went with a fox 34 step cast um, i was on the fence on getting a 32 because most cross-country bikes have 32s on it but i wanted a little bit more travel than the 32 so i decided to go with the 34 and this is a 2021 step cast 34 so this is this is the newest one that they have uh, I believe this is the, this is not the grip. I think it's the Fit 4 or the Fit 3. I'll give you my thoughts and impressions on the first ride, and then hopefully I'll take it to a trail pretty soon. But other than that, guys, this is it. Thanks for being patient. Um, yeah, I, I love the way it looks, and uh, I'll check you out on the next video. Hope everyone's doing well, and peace.